Welcome to the Polkadot ICO review by Hunting the Coins. What is Polkadot? It's basically a blockchain technology that the developers are calling a heterogeneous multi-chain blockchain. And its goal is to fix extendability and scalability issues in current blockchain technologies. So they're us utilizing a parachain, which are basically small independent chains connected to bigger uh, relay chain to uh, process different parts of the uh, blockchain. And using this technology, you can actually bridge other blockchains to Polkadot. So you can block, you can connect Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Litecoin using this technology. Yeah, blockchain to link all other blockchains. What about the uh, Polkadot token? There are 5 million native DOT tokens in the current Dutch auction that is running. The prices start off really high and decreases over time. And there's a 15% bonus for first hour investors, which is a bit too late as of uh, when this video is uploaded. These DOT tokens can be used for staking. So you can stake it as a validator uh, to help verify transactions in the relay chain. And it's essentially a uh, proof of stake. What about the team? Gavin Wood is the uh, the lead of the this project, and he's the creator of Parity and also Ethereum. The team uh, behind Parity is also help helping create uh, Polkadot. There's also the Web Three Foundation developers, which is behind this project. W what is the good about this project? It has a huge ambition and is trying to address scalability and various different issues of extendability in current blockchains as a very top tier team and if it succeeds it could be bigger than ethereum however um blockchain tech uh, blockchain ico projects also usually have a very very high market cap think about cardano iota and quantum but then there is something to to think about these um these different icos had a very very low a cap to start off with. So Cardano had about 25 million US dollar. IOTA, a roughly 1 million. Quantum, about fifth, I think 15 million. And actually, the ICO started early on this year. The bad. There's a two year lock in period. So, you know, your coins, you wouldn't be able to get your coins or your tokens until the end of the two year period. It's inflationary, like Ethereum. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it does dilute the uh, the amount of tokens circulation. There's also an uncertain ICO in crypto landscape. Two years is a long time, and we, we you can't tell whether um, uh, whether these ICOs will still be performing well, very well at the end of the two year period. And it's uncapped, and they've already raised 130 million US dollars, which is quite high. The uh, Polkadot team will also not uh, support or develop any infrastructure for trading of Polkadot tokens. There's also uh, numerous competitors like uh, Chainlink, which is attempting to link different blockchains. You got OneChain as well, which is doing the exact same thing as Chainlink, but with their own blockchain. And Atomic Crosschain, which is uh, at the moment is still being developed, but it's quite ambitious because they have already have a prototype of I think it was swapping Litecoin and Decred and it was a success although it's still in development so what do I think about this ICO I think I don't recommend participating in this ICO two years is a heck of a long time hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe